Yes, everybody, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Dave's show. You know, you know the name, you know the game, you know the name of the game, right? Anyway, that in mind and that in other way, as they say. I'm going to tell you guys about the post office that uh, people are definitely in, up in arms about about this recently, as of Friday. Um, uh, the post box box <laughs> that they have outside their areas, people are definitely up in arms. This is not a political game, as they say. Nobody's gaining on this. Uh, so they're just up in arms, the, uh, the establishment, as they would say, uh, are up in arms about this post box. And they're, the uh, post offices uh, really get upset about this. They have... Photos about this being boxes of being somewhere in the dump sites, a uh, dump area somewhere, and uh, and it's a crime shame. They call it the crime and shame. Yes, that's right, crime and shame. Did I say? Did you hear what I have to say? Really, eh? Uh, crime shame. Uh, so yeah, so no more shipping things around. You have to go to your regular post office to do that. And I mean, I'm not kidding, folks. Your regular post uh, place. So, like I said, folks, this has nothing to do with uh, politics stuff. They don't want to have, have uh, politics in this sort of thing. It's just a post office thing that people are up in arms about. Uh, about, uh, you know, getting your mail uh, out and receiving, right? So, um, what, what the Americans don't seem to realize this, that they're up in arms because of... Uh, the post office doing all wrong. They're shipping to the wrong people. I'm hearing this morning. Guess what? All things this morning. They're talking about people shipping their their their. How do you say it? Their mail to different uh, different addresses. If you, I kid you not, this is what I'm hearing. This is not by uh, by a third party or anything. This is by people with who send their afternoon mail. This is like snail mail, as they call it, snail mail. Uh, to your regular, regular address, as they say, your regular, how do you say, your address areas. And sometimes they do get mixed up on the address. They sometimes do. It's not, it's not because the post office did that. It's the drivers that drive to the, to your addresses in, uh, you know, the rural areas. They call so-called rural areas. Uh, so yeah, the mail's gotta get out. No question about it. The mail's gotta get out. But I gotta say it for you people. If you're if you're receiving mail, getting mail, uh, it's a bit slow due to the pandemic, as they would say. They would let you to believe <laughs> due to the pandemic. Uh, you'll get it sometime. Don't worry. They always say they'll get it sometime. They don't. You don't need to shout at them or anything. You'll get it sometime. And don't need to worry. Don't need to panic. People like to panic, and it's just they want it their way, the highway theory. Uh, so yes, they want it now, and everything's always done now. I can't wait for next week. Can't wait for next month. They want it now, sir, in these sort of, in these sort of situations. Years later, now, let me give you a brief history of the post office and post office in general. Um, in the early days of 70s and 80s, people would get their, uh, their mail and they wouldn't argue about it. They wouldn't necessarily argue about it. They would get it at a certain time, certain day, and they don't complain about it. They get it every single day. They get it every single day. And these are people that don't complain. They usually get their mail on time and whatever it comes, you know, to the mail and to their address places. And, yeah, so like I said, folks, this is to do with the post office. We're, uh, the, the, the Democrats, as they would say, I'll say it like a government person. And this is because of the Democrats. They like to do everything, uh, like, really, really not, like, the check mark in the box. Uh, you know, they like to do everything that they can do to get the city to, you know, essentially... This is in New York City. This is not in Canada. This is not like the Third World War or Third Country uh, where you don't get your mail. Uh, if you have an address, your poll box, how do you say it? Postal box uh, address, they'll send you mail, snail mail. It's not like email, snail mail. Uh, it'll come as soon as it comes. So, you know, you'll get your mail whenever it comes, you know, kind of theory. Uh, and, and these people don't complain about it. They really don't complain. So last... Um, so the postmaster, as they call it, the postmaster, um, wants you to believe that they're not doing it anymore. They're not doing it anymore. They're just simply quitting the job. They're simply quitting the job. People would say, no, don't quit the job. Don't quit the job. Uh, you're, I would say to these people, you're lucky you even have a job, okay? Let alone, uh, you need to get paid, right? People with uh, postal careers need to get paid. Yeah. Uh, so they're just sending, 
your rigor, uh, uh, your rigor mail, your snail mail, whatever it's called, to your address, whatever address that you people in the United States have, to rural areas, to business places. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so my, my, it's not really a rant. It's, it's just a lot of people complain about so-called post office. Uh, and not getting their mail, and they complain. They really complain, and I'm not kidding. They really complain. Uh, they they voice it uh, as I would call it, very uh, very voicefully. And um, this is just a topic about post office and careers uh, and uh, mail careers, and this all walks of life, all walks of life. And uh, yeah, so people complain about their mail, not getting their mail, not getting their checks, not getting anything. Uh, so they really complained. So as of Friday, the postmasters, they call him the postmaster, he's telling everybody uh, the Friday that uh, he's quitting. What I'm hearing, he's quitting. Uh, yes, uh, quit, get another person, right? Quit and just get another person to do a job, right? Uh, so yes, there you go, folks. There will be a hearing on it on Monday. I kid you not. I'm hearing from the Democrat side of things. Uh, they're doing a hearing on Monday about uh, the postmaster uh, with, uh, what do you call it, the House of Jury, whatever it's called. Um, so really feet to the fire kind of theory. So he's going to be answering the uh, same old question. Are they going to get the mail-in ballots? That's the question. <laughs> yes, the mail-in ballots. Uh, are they going to do it electronically or are they going to send it to the address that they have their you know, constituents, they would say. So, you know, my theory, I was just thinking recently, maybe you should just do it like it, uh, they should vote online. Everybody has a computer. Everybody has a tablet, an iPhone. You know, everybody's hooked uh, some way, somehow. They're, they're, they're hooked up by uh, many <laughs> devices in this world. We have computers to thank for. We have a mobile devices to thank for. And we can do social media as simple as that. So, so f folks, it's not mail-in ballots. I know some people don't have computers at home. Some don't. Some do. Um, or they have iPhones. They have Android devices. You know, the selfie things. Um, so, like I said, folks, we can vote online. There'll be real numbers. Not just uh, mail-in ballots and get them fraud. And be their fraud and stuff. Uh, so... I think I think somebody should create out there is a website where you can uh, vote online, and it'll come in with the numbers and be these will be real numbers. These are not just fake numbers. These are real numbers, and we'll just see who wins the election, shall we? Uh, it is Joe Biden or that Donald Trump guy in the White House. Is it four more years that every every American would say, or is it Joe Biden coming in and saying, okay, we're going to change the landscape of the United States. We're going to change the whole landscape. Uh, now these are people who are, are, are really excited about Joe Biden. Really excited. Now I've said I said in the past that Joe Biden is a big if for me in my eyes, a big flipping if. Uh, so yes, you can like I said to these people, you can say Joe Biden all you want, night and day, to the cows come home. But he's got to win on election election night on November third. That's everybody's tout in here. Uh, so Joe Biden. He can do whatever he wants to say, but November 3rd will be D-Day, as they say, D-Day or something, uh, to see what the numbers are going to be like. Is it going to be a Hillary Clinton? Uh, I said in the past, is it going to be a Hillary Clinton that she lost? Is it going to history repeat itself that if Hillary Clinton lost, you'll think Joe Biden would have lost the election, and everybody will be up in arms about it. Uh, so, yeah. When it comes to election night, I think Joe Biden will lose. I'm pretty sure he'll lose. And then people will get their four years of Donald Trump again. Uh, and uh, there's been there's been rallies about it. There's been many Trump rallies. I see a few of them on YouTube, by the way. And, um, yeah, so just remember, post office are what people believe in. Every... Post office is going to have their transition. They're going to do transition into different formats, either machines to computers to you name it. Uh, the voting online is pretty neat, pretty new, as they would say, pretty new. Just go online, go on your tablet like an app. There's always an app. They always say to the uh, people out there, there's always an app for something. Uh, so just develop, an, uh, develop a website that you could vote for your election nights. And we'll get the real numbers. We'll see the real numbers, and then all everything is going to be fair, kind of thing. 
So there you go, folks. I'm going to leave you at that, but until then, just remember, just remember, post office is going to be there for the people, for we are the people type of thing. Um, to your constitution, to your, here in Canada, we got the, uh, the rights thing. We got the uh, uh, Bill of Rights or whatever it's called. But yeah, if you ever come down to Canada, it's a different uh, sort of system uh, uh, we got here in Canada. We got the charter rights. All the thank for for the charter rights in Canada. If you travel down to Canada, we got the charter rights. And in the United States, they got the amendments to the Constitution, to the civil laws, to you name it. Uh, so there you go, folks. You learned something here, right here on Dave's podcast. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now, everybody. And until then, I hope you guys sound uh, sleep soundly or wherever the situation you're in. Hope you guys sleep soundly because I just gave you a bunch of information here. A bunch of information. Really key information that people like to hear. So there you go, folks. Just do what you do best and make the best of your lives out there. I really appreciate. Oh, by the way, the urban exploring people, I really appreciate you as well. Uh, go out there and explore the world. Many things around the world haven't been explored yet. In terms of using a camera and vlogging out to exploring places. There's un, there's uh there's uh, tunnels that haven't been explored, uh, underground tunnels that haven't been explored. Just go out there and do the urban exploring. And uh, take a camera and take your buddies and go urban exploring in the woods, maybe in rural areas. Um, and I, I would say 95% in the United States and Canada haven't been explored in terms of vlogging out. And all they do... I love the people who do urban exploring because it's really in the dense woods, or they're <laughs> they're in the dense woods, and they're really they're really doing all these things that I come to appreciate. It's not always cop videos or you know cop watches. Just do what you do best. I want to see more of urban exploring. They call it the urban exploring quotations on YouTube. I want to see more of those videos, not just cop watches. Uh, Go out there and explore the world. They want people to go out there and explore the world on your cameras, on your vlog cameras. And uh, you learn a lot. You learn about the history of the world. You get the good idea. You kind of get the whole enchilada, like the, the, the whole thing in the world. So anyway, I, I know it's a long vlog. I'll see you guys on the next podcast. Until then, thank you for joining me and thank you for listening. And I hope you learned something here. I want to put that out there. If you learned something, you might have learned something from my vlog. And it's going to be interesting. I said what YouTubers would have said on here. Um, so treat it as such, and we'll learn something together. There you go. Dave's Pop Podcast signing off, everybody. Ciao for now. For